want to start a Eurorack synth and don't know which of the thousand modules you need to get going, well, be warned, it will be expensive, addictive and also frustrating. Having warned you, well, here's your guide to a working setup in under 5 minutes. First things first, you'll need a rack where you can put your modules into. Be sure to get one with power supply. These here from Depfa are nice because they are available at a reasonable price, have a capable power supply and you can stack them, which is great. Don't get a skiff rack for the beginning, cause it doesn't hold the deeper modules. These Depfa racks give you 84 HP horizontal partitions, which is enough for a small working setup. Now, your choice of modules heavily depends on what you want to create with them. For a straightforward subtractive synth, we'll definitely need a VCO voltage controlled oscillator. Most of them will do, I'll take the Dubfer A110-2 here. Be sure to grab one with saw wave, square wave and pulse wave outputs. Some only give you sine waves, which is not a good choice for a subtractive synth. Next thing will be the filter, the centerpiece of any subtractive synth. There are plenty of filters available, be sure to grab a low pass one for the start. It doesn't really matter if you take a 12 decibel per octave or 24 decibel per octave slope filter, well the 24 dB ones are often a bit more punchy, the 12 dB ones have a nicer resonance, but that's very dependent on the hardware and the circuitry, so really not easy to recommend one here, I'll just take the A108 from Döpfer because it has several filter slopes to choose from. Next thing is the VCA, the voltage controlled amplifier, it adjusts the volume of your sound. Most of them will do, but grab an exponential one for your audio signals. The last missing piece of your monosynth will be some modulation, so you typically grab an ADSR envelope module or some LFO. Again, you can't really do too much of a wrong choice here and I'll just stick to the Döpfer A100 series. And that's our modular monophonic synthesizer. While installing the modules, take care of the polarity. Modern racks are mostly failsafe, but some older ones allow you to plug the power cord into the supply in the wrong way, which will fry your modules very quickly. Well, I picked the A100 from Döpfer here for a reason. It gives you a very high quality of modules at a reasonable price and also Döpfer sticks to the idea of a form follows function concept so the modules are exceptionally clear and easy to use that definitely does not hold for all manufacturers. And now a word of warning here you have to cover these open spaces with blind plates if you don't do so there are racks out there where you could possibly touch the mains voltage and this is obviously very dangerous so just cover these open spaces if you're not confident about the power supply of your rack. Actually for this Dubfer low cost rack it's not that of a problem because it's not directly connected to the mains but to this power adapter so it only receives 12 volt which is fairly safe to touch. To really get going with your synth you will need some source of voltage to feed it into the oscillator and you will need some gate signals to feed them into your envelopes. So usually an external sequencer or a DAW, something like that. Um, I just picked the Cork SQ1 here, which is a cheap and uh, fully Eurac compatible sequencer. Let's jam around with this setup now. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.
I'm 